Hello, my topic is about macro instruction. These are the single line operation for group of instructions. This is with the use of macro. The programmer can define a single instruction which represents a block of code. Mm, this is the block diagram uh, of a macro instruction. Here macro process enables you to define and use macro. When you define a macro, uh, you provide text that you want to associate with a macro name. Then when you want uh, to include the macro text in your program, you provide the name of the macro. The assembler uh, replaces the macro name with the specified text specified in the macro definition. The advantages of uh, uh, advantages provided by the macro are uh, <clears throat> the frequent use of macros can uh, reduce programmer induced error. The macro allow you to define instruction sequence that are used repetitively throughout your program. Subsequent use of a macro provides the same results. The macro reduces the likelihood of error introduced in repetitive and uh, programming sequence. Um, macro definition. It is uh, macro definition attaches the name uh, to a sequence of operation. And these are the uh, sum of definitions. Macro call. Once the macro has been defined, the use of macro name as an operation mnemonics in an assembly program is uh, equivalent to the corresponding instruction sequence. That is the program, the rep repeated instruction sequence are written with the macro name. This is called as macro call or macro invocation. The occurrence of uh, the macro name is in the source program as an operation mnemonic to be expanded is called as macro call this is uh, the example for the macro call you can see that INCR is uh, in repeated sequence next is macro expansion uh, whenever there is a macro call the macro processor substitutes the macro definition in the place of, of the macro call this is called as macro expansion the macro definition itself does not appear in the expanded source code the definition is saved by the mac macro processor macro and meant pseudo ops are uh, uh, and the name of the macro does not appear in the expanded source code all the other line appear uh, like is these are the lines which appears this is the block diagram of a macro expansion thank you